you would have the elbow in full extension and you would stress test. Either they had trauma or it's something that you're ruling out. So then you would do your stress test. And then because it has two bands, you go to 20 or 30 degrees and then you do your stress test again. You can, if you want to, palpate over the joint line and push with your medial hand to do the test. Remember when you do stress tests, you don't have to bring your A game. You just are palpating the area, you gently do the test and hold it there for a few seconds, and then you go 20 degrees and you hold it there. The most reliable test will be that moving valgus stress test. So you'll do that moving valgus, and be careful, because if you're doing that one, you may want to support and do it because you're going to cause some separation. And if the person does have a tear in that area, you'll feel a little blip. This is in those th the throwing athletes that you have. You can pick out specific bands to do the, the valgus at full extension at 30 degrees and at 90 degrees. But as a full scan, you would want to start and create that force as you come along. But don't bring your A game because this is, again, sensitive tissue. You also have the ulnar nerve. So as you're coming into this, you're just one step away from some kind of ulnar nerve test and you may have to do a tenels around there as well. So although we're doing it for ligament, ligamentous stability, you have to put it in context of, is this a throwing athlete? What was the mechanism? And are, what are some of the underlying structures that also could be irritated with this testing?